Welcome back to the floor of the CV Group here in Chicago, Monday, November 7th. I'm Killer. Let's get in the zone, folks, the CMZ zone. So Berlusconi, here we are. He's been nicknamed the Horseman, the Knight. Is he filling up that Ferrari? Is he getting ready to jet out of town? I don't know, but the rumors are that he's supposed to resign on Facebook. That got uh, debunked. So now supposedly he's going to stay. But mean, meanwhile, we are seeing these borrowing costs on the 10-year go above 6.5%. Clearly not sustainable. ECB, no matter how many bonds they buy, they have to get this thing under control because no matter what austerity is implemented, it's fully negated, folks. We've talked about this. Now in France, France is really on pins and needles, and that's my focus this week. So if you grasp anything out of this next three minutes, France, France, France. Here we are. The top three banks in France own 45% of this Italian debt. I know the buzzwords of Italy, but it's all about France and that's where the trade is. So right now we're seeing their 10-year yield only at about 3.14%. You know, pretty tight to essentially where the market is in the rest of Europe. So the, I think the trade here is, folks, in the event this EU crisis persists, now all these trades are off in the event some silver bullet comes out, but we don't foresee that here at the CMZ. So what we're looking at is buying the 10-year domestically, selling the French tenure, watching that yield, because in the event it's, it skyrockets up to 6.5%, that's a long way to go, but at least you'll probably see a full basis point move on that. And this is all going to happen, the catalyst for this trade is the AAA rating. We're really getting uh, nervous about that downgrade happening, and Sarkozy really upset and really kind of nervous as well, and you saw post G20 meeting he wants to come out with this $8 billion worth of austerity, but folks, all that austerity goes to the wayside, just like it does in Italy. In the event, you can not, you know, have your borrowing costs reduce. Any austerity you put in doesn't even make sense. But in the big picture, I think Europe is, you know, really um, going into recession here. And there's concerns about that. And some of the data is evident. You know, France has really reduced their uh, potential growth down to 1% from 1.7. So as long as we have that slow, sluggish growth, we'll be okay. In the event, though, that uh, those returns get negative and inflation pops up due to the fact ECB is lowering rates, there's a lot of grave concerns over there. And we're still continue to look for you know these fears to be quelled however I really think this volatility this high emotion you know Dr. J talked about that V chart that V chart is going to continue through the holidays here so hop on board grab a mitt get in the game and one other thing you have to remember from the CMZ from the floor of the CMA group be the hammer not the mitt